Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just here in regards to this uh, high voltage battery we're replacing on this Prius. So this Prius was presented to us with some high voltage battery issues and a couple of scan uh, fault codes. In replace to, in particular, is the POA80 replace battery pack. So this particular one is, and a couple of other ones associated to engine not starting, etc. Now, what interesting enough, we've done quite a few of these over the years with faulty battery cells, but they'll come up with a fault for a particular cell being down on voltage. This particular case, complete battery pack fault. But check the battery voltages; they all seem to be relatively stable. But it's in the battery management system that we believe is the problem on this particular case. So here's the high voltage battery pack. It's a 2007 Series 2 Prius. Uh, that was uh, delivered here in Australia. We've, we've stripped out all the, uh, the things. Obviously, first up, make sure you've got your high voltage gloves if you're working on anything like this and you've got some experience on it. We've taken out the high voltage battery the plug, which lives in the side here, to isolate the system. That basically cuts the 210 odd volt battery in half. Uh, next thing to do would be to, uh, to obviously unbolt it. Take this section off over here to remove the two high voltage battery cables. So you can see the DC connection in that side over here. We've got our two cables coming in, uh, the DC cables that run up to the uh, converter at the front of the car. So in this particular case for the first time, we're going to be actually fitting a complete battery pack uh, from Injectronics in this particular case. And we've had it delivered, it's arrived up here today. And it comes in a very, very sturdy black plastic cover, uh, very, very well uh, packaged. Uh, it's arrived today for us to fit up and it's complete. It's got the whole battery pack complete. So our battery uh, isolating switch will go into here our main two battery cables into here, and away we go. It is basically a plug and play situation. Uh, there's no programming involved. So as we get this stripped down, we'll take a few more photos and get another video. But this is the first one that, one that we're actually fitting, a complete battery pack. Now compared to a battery pack from Toyota, where you buy just the battery pack, there are, you know, this is still a little bit cheaper than a battery pack from Toyota, but in this particular case, you're getting a fully remanufactured uh, battery management system as well. So in this particular case where we're, we've got a fault in the battery management system as well as it's re saying replacing the battery pack. It's got 160 odd thousand Ks in it. It's obviously 13, 14, 14 years old, 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 14, 15 years old. Uh, so again, the customer's gone for this particular option. The other options we gave were second hand, very hard to find, uh, complete battery pack like this with the guarantee, or just the battery pack without the battery management system from Toyota. But I suspected that we were gonna have a problem in the battery management system anyway. So once we get this one out and in there, we'll take another video and show you how we go. Uh, and the steps is pretty easy, not much involved in actually getting it removed. Just make sure if you're working on anything high voltage, safety first, high voltage gloves, make sure your signage is up and everything to let people know that you're working on a high voltage system.